Hey guys, Roy here. Now, I want to do another short tutorial here on how to set up a WordPress blog. Now, this is an updated version. You'll see a lot of videos they show you to use uh, Fantastico inside of your host cPanel, and they don't use Fantastico anymore, so the videos are absolutely useless. So, if you have like a HostGator or a cPanel uh, back office, You'll go to yourdomain.com and then just type a forward slash, right? And that'll usually get you to your cPanel. And log in. Now when you get into cPanel, you're going to see a lot of different boxes here. Okay, and you might see a pop-up as well. Oh, this is on my own virtual private server, so you're not going to see uh, the pop-up and the HostGator emblem and stuff. So... You can drag these boxes like this if you want to, okay? But I have the software services dragged up to the top. Now the program you have to use nowadays, and it's very simple to use because it creates a secure password for you, and it's called Quick Install. Okay, you might see another one called Site Software if you have a different kind of cPanel and it might be soft delicious or something like that to create a blog with but in most C panels especially with HostGator you see quick install right here so you go here to quick install and you don't have to worry about this on the uh, left side here this they integrated with mojo themes now okay so you don't need to worry about this this is just to log into mojo themes what you want to do is scroll down and go to install WordPress and they're always going to have upsells so don't worry about these it's going to scroll down to here and you don't need to do that okay what you want to do is to go install WordPress for free right here and go to install WordPress now you pick the domain that you want to set the blog on most likely you don't want to set it on your main domain okay you want to put it in a folder and that's like I was shown in the other video with FTP we create a folder well this is going to create a folder already for you so you drop this down and if you have multiple domains on your hosting account you'll see a bunch of different ones but on this one I just have one showing and this is the blog that you it'll create the uh, blog folder in for you so just name that folder I'm just gonna name this like that new IM blog uh, for right now because I'm going to delete this anyway and so the folder would be new IM blog so it'll be the mentorman.com forward slash new IM blog and then you'll get your login to go into the admin panel so every blog that you create you're going to have a different login to that admin panel so the email that you want to use to get the uh, information at your login information and the blog title I'll just put mentoring for marketers and the username that you're going to log in with and the first name and last name all right that's as easy as it is to create a blog then you go to install WordPress you don't need to upload files from wordpress.com and create a database and everything like they'll show you the hard way that's very difficult especially for new people now up here it's going to say your install is running and now my install is complete that's how fast it is to create a blog alright with cPanel and quick install and like I say when you see these videos using Fantastico they're outdated they're no good so drop this down and copy this information to a notepad alright copy that to a notepad so just right click and copy and then put it in a notepad file alright and save that file save as and then save it to WordPress logins and then when you do a search if you're on Windows 8 you know go to search and then type in WordPress logins and that file will uh, that text pad will show up alright so you'll be able to save your logins in there 
and also check your email because they're going to send this to your email and you can copy it from there as well but what you want to do now is copy this password right uh, highlight it and right click and uh, copy and it's going to say the mentorman.com forward slash new im blog wp dash admin this is going to be your admin panel to log in and you go like that and I'm going to have to change this password because it's cookied into another one and I'm going to paste that and log in and I don't want to save it because I have a lot of blogs and it'll overwrite the other one welcome to would you like help launching your site no thanks and now you're all set to um, you know you're all set to go to uh, add plugins if you have a squeeze page plugin to create pages with like we use WP opt-ins and that creates beautiful squeeze pages for us you're all set to create pages or posts okay and we'll have more tutorials on on setting up the WordPress blog but that's as easy if you go to visit the site now it's just going to be a generic it's just going to be a generic blog but it's all set to edit if you want to go to uh, drop this down and go to themes you can add a new theme if you want all right it's on this one now but if you go to um, wordpress.org themes and then you can search through here you could search uh, in here for two column theme uh, three column theme all right they have Shopify theme right here I mean simplify not Shopify um, they have different ones like this they have all different themes that you could use and they all got different uh, uses in there in pictures and stuff you can add inside of the uh, settings okay so let me see um, let's try marketing and here you would have some themes like this okay all different types of themes so you could search through say you want to install this one click on install and then go to activate okay go to activate so this theme is installed now so if we go here to mentoring for marketers and visit site there wouldn't be no images up here yet this would just be um, you know the main theme but once you added images in here if you go to customize you can go to all different settings in here and like I say this is just showing how to uh, header image you could put a header image 1920 by 100 while you can crop images to your liking after clicking new image your theme recommends a header of 1920 by 100 so let's just see what would happen if we were to upload a file and from our computer We'll go like that just for now and you can choose the size uh, you know and stuff like this down here once that select and crop so it's showing that it's only that big okay so that really wouldn't be really big but let's see if we did this and see if it'll resize it crop image Let's go like that and see what happens crop image and let's go to save and publish and then close this and that would be our blog right now right that would be the header image okay but the main thing I wanted to show you is how easy it is to install a blog then you can go in here and you can do widgets you can add a sidebar and put ads in there and stuff like that okay guys as always all the full tutorials are in the mentoring site below and if you have any questions put it in the comments box and I'll do a short video on it